This is the intro to Long Hair Pretty Nail Show. Yeah. Give it up for the notification squad. These were the first three comments in my last video. If you want a chance to be featured, make sure you hit that notification bell and come show your girl some love when I drop a new video. And today's featured comment goes to Anika. Hey y'all, what's up and welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be testing out the Kiera Sky Dip Powder Nail Kit. A lot of you guys have asked me to review this and here we go. So let's open it up and see what's inside. All right, so the first thing I see when I open the flap is the instructional pamphlet. And I love how detailed this is. It tells you how to do the color powder, a pink and white, how to apply gel polish. It gives you so much detail. And I think this is probably the most in-depth instructional pamphlet I've ever seen that came with a nail kit. So kudos to Kiera Sky. And it also comes with extra brushes. All right, so you get five color acrylic powders and these are one ounce jars. And this color here is clear. Beautiful red color called Hot Damn. This nude color called Prim and Proper. Gorgeous glitter acrylic and this one is called Superficial. And then this one here is called Natural. All right, so for the bottles here, you get the bond, which is the step one. And I love how the bottles are numbered so you can stay on track. Number two is the base. Number three is the seal protect, and that is your activator. Number four is the top. Number five is the nourish oil. And number six is the brush saver. So these are my natural nails. I'm just gonna take my hand file and trim down my nails a bit. And then I'm going to apply my nail tips. These are the BU Long Stiletto Tips in color natural. And I get these from Amazon. Once I pick out the sizes, I'm gonna use the IBD brush on nail glue to apply these. Once I got all of the tips on, I'm just going to trim them down and also shape them to my liking. All right, so after shaping the tips, I'm gonna go in with the bond and this is a dehydrator and I'm just concentrating this on my natural nail. Taking the natural powder, I'm just gonna open that up so it can be easy to get to. And then I'm taking the base and I'm just going to apply that to where my natural nail and the tip meets just to kind of fill in that area first. Dip that in and then brush it off. And I'm gonna do that for all of my nails. And what this does is um, kind of evens out that area. Because my nails are long, I want to make sure that they do not turn out extra flat. So I'm making sure to kind of build up the, um, you know, the curve and the shape of it as I'm dipping. So after that step, I'm just gonna go further down the nail, but not to the cuticle yet. And then dip that into the powder. And repeat that for all of the nails. So after that, I'm gonna take the prim and proper and I'm just going to cover the whole nail, but I'm not going all the way to the cuticle yet. And then now I'm going all the way down to the cuticle. And I went ahead and did three coats of this prim and proper powder. So 
So one thing I noticed about the Kiera Sky Powder is that it is really finely milled. It is um, finer than just your regular acrylic, so it makes for a smoother dip powder nail. Sometimes with a dip powder, you can see like how grainy it is, but I didn't get that from this powder. All right, so this is after three coats of that new color is on all of my nails. All right, so now we need to top this with clear and I'm using the dip powder recycling system. So you wanna use this when you have colored powder and you need to cap it with clear. You don't wanna dip your nails into the clear jar because you can contaminate the powder and get extra color into your clear and you don't want that. So this tool comes in handy when you want just to cover your nails in clear and you don't want to mess up or waste any product. So I just apply more base and then I'm just going to pour this over the nail. And as you can see that second scoop kind of catches everything at the bottom. and you just switch those out and then put the empty one back in and you just kind of do that for each nail. Also this step is important as well as far as covering it with the clear um, because you want to be able to shape and file these nails without the color coming off. And I only did one coat of the clear on each nail. All right, so this is after all of the nails have had a clear coating on it. So now it is time for the step three, which is the seal protect. And this is your activator. You want to drench each nail with this because this is what allows the nail to dry and fully harden. So it is really important to make sure you cover each nail with the seal protect thoroughly. So after applying this, I wait about two minutes for this to dry and your nail should be rock hard. So now I'm going to do my shaping and filing. And as I was filing, like I couldn't tell that these were dip nails, like that's how good they look. <laughs> and I just filed these just as hard as I do regular acrylic. So after doing my hand filing, I went in with my e-file around the cuticle area. This is my medium grit safety bit that I got from Poochie's Nails. And I worked that around the cuticle just to make sure that it's nice and flush. So after shaping and filing, this is how the nails look. And I am so shocked, like they look so good. <laughs> So after you file and shape, you wanna go in with a second layer of the Seal Protect, your activator. And this is just to ensure that you get all of the powder that is exposed. You wanna make sure that that is going to set and you know just be hard and all that stuff. And don't be like me, please do not get this on your skin. So I allow that to dry for two minutes and this is how the nails are looking. Oh my God, they look so good. If I didn't do these dip nails myself, I would have thought that these were just regular acrylic nails. 
I mean, they look so good. Even the cuticle areas. Like, I have not been able to get my dip powder nails to look good around the cuticles. And these look so good. <laughs> Pause while I pat my stuff on the back. All right, so now I'm gonna be trying something a little new for me. This is the Ombre with Dip Powder. And I am just following Kiara Sky's YouTube channel to a T. So I'm gonna create the Ombre with this red color. And we also need clear as well. So I don't have a Kiara Sky base coat. I thought I did. So I'm using my Gershon Gel base coat and I'm going to apply this to my nail. And I flash cure in my nail lamp for only 10 seconds. And then I dip that into the clear powder. And then we're gonna dip into the red powder. And I start at the very tip first, kind of bouncing that in. And then I dip further up the nail in this bouncy motion. I know it looks stupid, but trust me, it's gonna work. <laughs> This is what it looks like after you do the ombre and then you lightly brush it off and that looks good. I wanna see if I can get just a little more color so I'm going back in to dip some more. And this is how it turned out. Like that was so easy and it looks really really good <laughs> I want to see if I can try that with this beautiful gold glitter powder so I'm going to do the same step with applying the base coat gel and curing for only 10 seconds dipping into the clear got a little extra there on the side and then we're gonna dip into the gold All right, uh, this isn't working. Okay, this is a fail. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just dip right back into the red because this is the one that worked. <laughs> so I'm just going to use that bouncy motion starting from the very tip and then working my way down. And there you have it. So I'm gonna do this for all of the nails. I cannot believe how easy this is. So this is after all of the tips have been dipped and I want to add just a little bit more color to all of the tips. So I'm just dipping one last time into the red. Lightly dusting. And there you go. So the final step is to go in with a no wipe gel top coat. So I'm using this one from Kiara Sky and you want to apply this in short strokes. You don't want to drag your brush because you will get red color on your bristles and you still kind of get it. But so that's why you see me wiping off the brush on this paper towel. Um, but you just want to make sure to just do light short strokes to cover the powder. But once you put this gel top coat on, the blend becomes seamless. Like, I am so shook. This looks like a regular ombre with monomer and acrylic. Like, I am just shook. So 
So I cure that in my nail lamp for 60 seconds. And then finally, we're gonna go in with the Nourish Oil, which is the step five. This is basically cuticle oil, so I'm applying that to my cuticles, and we're gonna rub that in. And this is the finished look. I think these are hands down the best damn dip powder nails I've ever done. <laughs> Oh my God, like this ombre opens up so many possibilities for me as far as dip nails. I am so excited to continue to try, try different colors because these came out so bomb. <laughs> So if you guys are interested in the Kiara Sky Dip Powder Kit, I do have a 10% off coupon code that I will leave down below. This kit here is higher quality than all of the products that I've tried, so it does have a higher price to it. But if you're serious about doing your own nails at home, I think that these quality products are worth it. So check the link down below and my coupon code to save you some coins, okay? This is the outro to the Long Hair Pretty Nail Show, yeah.